You might have heard the story of the stockbrokers who committed suicide during the stock market crash in the Depression era. We're standing a few blocks from the New York Stock Exchange where every day people's feelings are dependent on what the market is doing. You know, we're walking around this area right now and if the market was booming right now or if business is booming or if it is crashing, we don't know because we're out here in the real world. And I tell you this story because we put so much energy into the stories that we make up about events. Your life, no matter what is happening in the real world, is actually, how you feel about it, is actually come down to the story that you tell about yourself. The stockbroker in the 1930s didn't want to go home and face his wife and say that he had lost all their money. There was a story that played out in his head or he told a story that he was a failure because of the money that had been lost. Or, you know, in this crazy world of cryptocurrencies, we have a bunch of so-called experts who believed a story that they're successful because they bet on the right cryptocurrencies. Now, stories can be beneficial or they can be harmful, but the truth is that the stories that we play in our head are not necessarily connected to the real world. If you're going through a hard time right now, I would invite you to ask yourself what story you are telling yourself. If your things are going really well right now, I would invite you to say, is there a chance that you have bought into a story that is not actually true. Now, we can change the story however we want to however we want to feel to however we want to show up in the world, but the stories that we tell ourselves are not necessarily connected to what is really going on in the world, but our brains, the, the way that we communicated in the earliest form was by telling each other stories. So our brains are wired to believe them. This is why we get so defensive of the stories that we believe about our political beliefs or our religions or what happened to us. People tell you their life story. No, no, you don't know, you don't know what happened to me. No, no, you don't know what I have been through. Now, I'm not saying that stuff does not exist. I'm just saying it's a story. And we can rewire the story. We can change the story. We are, we are manipulating the story all the time. We can change what the next story is. You can choose which parts you believe and don't believe. And the stories that you end up believing affect your actions, they affect your happiness, they affect everything about your life because that is what our brain interprets is true. So hopefully you never have to go through a stock market story where you consider harming yourself. But if you've ever gone through a hard time, if you've ever gone through a time where things were not how you wanted them to be, I'll just ask you to think about what story are you telling yourself? Because someone else might look at your exact same situation and say, I wish I was part of that story. So don't miss the story that you could be writing by being a slave to the story that you wrote before that you just bought into. It's a story, it's not true. You can make up whatever you want and that completely affects the quality of your life.